Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Simon here, Simon Adil in London. Look, there we go, Nelson's Column, the British Library, and other things, big lions made out of bronze, I'm guessing. Um, yes, so I am in London. I am here to um, do a big talk tomorrow for um, this networking thing I'm part of, this Vistage thing. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm going to be presenting my uh, value, trust, reputation and quality model, which is, uh, which is good, which is fun. I've been, something I've been looking into for the last six or seven months, analysing why people buy uh, from particular brands in the digital space. Uh, and I believe it's all to do with trust and value uh, as opposed to what other people think, which is all about data analytics, which is kind of weird coming from me since I run a big data analytics business. Um, anyway, so yes, <coughs> I am going to be doing that tomorrow. And because I'm talking about um, trust and values, I had a bit of an experience this morning, which I thought was uh, quite poignant. So I'm, um, that looks interesting, what's that? Uh, anyway, sorry, this is a great thing about London, you <laughs> get sidetracked easily. Um, so yes, I, I get to the train station this morning, and I normally leave my car uh, at Preston train station, but for some bizarre reason I decided to leave it at train station about 10 minutes away um, from Preston. I left it there and got to the train station, put my hand in pocket to get myself a, if you can with all these sirens going off, uh, put my hand in my pocket to get myself a coffee and what was not in my pocket, my wallet was not in my pocket, uh, which isn't a good thing when you're on the way to London, because it's not cheap, uh, just paid £5.70 for a pint of pale ale. Anyway, um, yes, so I tried my wife. No, she didn't answer the phone, no surprise. Um, I tried my father. I said, Dad, are you anywhere near Preston? No, I'm not. So I was a bit stuck, really, and I only had this, I was booked onto a train that I couldn't change the train, so I was either going to lose 150 quid, or I had to come up with a plan. So the plan was this. I rung up my bank, believe it or not, because fortunately for me, um, I bank with Handels Banking, who have very traditional methods of how they bank based on, here we go, value and trust. So they put customer service as a primary part of their strategy. And you believe it or not, yes, you can ring up the bank manager. Not like these people with call centers in different parts of the world and people that use technology to um, accentuate their service proposition. So I did, I rung my bank manager. David, hi, Simon here. Really sorry about this. Um, don't know if you could help me. But I'm about to get on the train to London and I've, that guy's really, really fast. Um, I'm about to get on the train to London and I've forgotten my wallet. What can you do for me? And guess what? I said, Simon, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll be there in five minutes. Fortunately, he's around the corner from uh, the station. I'll be there in five minutes. Um, I'll draw you £200 out, out of my own money. And uh, I'll give it to you. And I was like, really? That's fantastic. Uh, so he did. And <laughs> guess what I did? I did what I usually do. I posted it on LinkedIn. Put it on LinkedIn. And it's had thousands of views again um, thousands of views about how what a great customer service that was about how fantastic it must be to be with handles banking and blah 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 so just by that little tiny 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 little bit of old school customer service it's generated them a massive amount of exposure and uh, I promise you, I'm not, again, not getting paid for this, and I'm fairly sure I've got to pay, the, pay David his 200 quid back. Uh, but yeah, and I love it because it was all about trust and value. 
him building the value of his business and his business that he worked for and about trusting the fact that I'm going to pay that money back and then me trusting the fact that my bank can get me out of a sticky situation. So how poignant was that? So I thought it was quite good. So there you go. I am completely lost now. I have no idea where I am. I'm in amongst lots of big white buildings in London. Here we are. I'm sure somebody will be watching this going. I know exactly where you are. Anyway, I thought that was fun. Right. So wish me luck at my talk tomorrow. All about my value, trust, reputation and quality model. Which I am desperate to share with you. And uh, have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe. Send questions right now.